Good day, welcome back to Khmer Green. Finally, I have some right fit here. This one is Montaigne Word Day. This one is my most expensive variety, so I personally very exciting to try this one out. The rest of the fruit here, they are smiths from my 5 years old tree. This one is fall off the tree. This one, I'm not sure it fall off or not, but it have a lot of crack, nicely cracking. The bigger one here, this one is underripe. So I want to test out what uh, any uh, different uh, flavor or any sweetness around there. And this one is the, the small one. So if the size is any uh, better or worse. Okay, just to be clear, this is not a review by any means of this variety because this is my first season to grow fig. So I don't think I'm qualified to do any kind of uh, stuff like that. So I just want to uh, show you, you know, what I, I can get from those three and and all of the hard work uh, it finally uh, put uh, some pay off. Is it uh, going uh, really uh, worth it or it's just a total uh, waste of time and hopefully if it's good maybe uh, inspired you to start growing your own victory because I see many people going nuts with fish. Maybe I am too now because I have like 30 variety already. Be before, I don't even know what is fake. Okay, so let's start with the small one. Uh, it looks uh, okay. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> Not really juicy. Uh, look a bit uh, underripe. The psycho name on the top is still like a white. And the, the pulp, it, it kind of uh, a bit red. Let me buy into. Okay, that was very good, surprisingly. And the flavor, uh, it takes kind of a uh, berry or melon, I'm not sure because I, I don't know how to describe that. And for the sweetness, it kind of medium. And probably because uh, it was rain uh, two days straight so just uh, bear with me with uh, this uh, this part also okay now go to the next one the bigger one but under it it look very uh, similar to the 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 small one but uh, again just bigger for this one the flavor is uh, similar so same fruit similar similar flavor but the sweetness it uh, less and i feel like uh, that's still a uh, flavor of the sap is still uh, going on there so i like the smaller one better <laughs> hmm. okay now the nice and crack oh this one is i think it's uh, perfectly ripe wow this one inside look very jammy but not very syrupy there's no honey drop coming out so let me buy into for this one the sweetness is uh, still uh, kind of medium but it's uh, a bit uh, stronger and for the berry flavor i feel like strawberry i'm not sure it's what is that so if you you are more experienced with the fruit you can uh, leave your comment down here so I can I uh, refer to next time okay now for the one that fall off the tree wow the one fall off the tree is look uh, even more jammy probably look like the same but uh, maybe it, it was dropped it uh, squeezed out the juice a little bit that's why it look more jammy but let me buy for this one it still has nice berry flavor but the uh, sweetness is medium so it like a uh, comparable to the the smaller one the first one for the the, the berry flavor wise it's uh, across the board like a uh, very similar uh, similar profiles doesn't matter if it's uh, underripe or it's perfectly ripe or it drop off the tree uh, the, the part that I feel more uh, pronounced is the, uh, the sweetness only 
Okay, so the rest of the, the Smith let uh, leave it for my family. Uh, so far, <laughs> no one really impressed by my victory yet. I had to step up my game. <laughs> All right, so now uh, the final contestant, uh, Montaigne Verde. The the texture it look really good. This uh, this one, but the color is not really uh, dark red as. I see in the picture of the fruits and it's not really syrupy probably uh, because it's it's the uh, young tree uh, that's why it's it doesn't produce a high quality fruit just now let me buy into it wow for this fix it doesn't look that jammy but when I buy into it it's a lot more jammy compared to Smith and Surprisingly, the sweetness is kind of uh, medium, but uh, I also taste a, a berry flavor. But I again, I don't really uh, put my uh, tone on what a kind of berry is it, but it berry and very jammy. This guy <laughs> look like a very good variety uh, over all those. Let, let me buy another time. Yes, it really jammy, but uh, flavor wise, it's, I'm not really impressed with this one. If uh, it stay the same like this, I don't think it's gonna be worth that price tag. But uh, hopefully, uh, after the tree mature, the the quality of fruit is going to improve. So for this season, I cannot say anything. I cannot give a judgment by any means. Uh, because it's still a young tree so uh, hopefully for the next one or the next season maybe uh, the quality uh, improve okay everybody so so far uh, this one is kind of medium I do uh, enjoy the fruit but I I feel like how much effort I put into growing those three and how much it really uh, give back kind of uh, in the middle mm, not uh, fully uh, blown away or not fully disappointed in the middle uh, hopefully I let on my other tree uh, produce more fruit or maybe uh, it get more mature it uh, produce a better fruit uh, can satisfy me more uh, that uh, still uh, to be determined so that's all I have for you today uh, thank you for watching and don't forget uh, to like and subscribe, always a welcome and I appreciate every single one of you that do subscribe. Thank you and see you next time. Bye bye.